days. Excuse me, guys. <laughs> it is so one of those days. One of those days. One of those days. Oh. Oh, God. I can do this without dying, I swear. Let's see. Your camera's on and we can see your butt. It is. That's good. Everything changes. <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm coming. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Oh, there's proof. There's proof I'm coming back. I swear. This is where you all hear bang as I hit the ground. Okay, where's that? But then Ah. Hi everyone! It is Tuesday. It's 10.36 p.m. I am apologetic of being as late as I am. Um, I had a bunch of things on my plate today. Uh, I'd rather... I'd rather not uh, dwell on it. Uh, there was enough ceremonies and all that throughout the day. So I will endeavor to move on. Um, so not to... Because... People come to Twitch for a multitude of reasons. I know the big one most people come to Twitch is for um, release, for uh, not having to think about stuff, to all kinds of stuff. So if you have questions or anything like that, you want any answers, I am more than willing to give them. But as it sits, um, I'm going to move on. <laughs> Because I just, I, I need to. Uh, other than that, as we get this stream started, let me say thank you to some pretty amazing people. Holy shit, what did I do? I'm screwing all kinds of things up. Uh, first and foremost, a shout out to It's Too Late Now, Flox, It's Fallen Snow. Thank you guys so much for the host throughout the stream. I didn't send out a tweet because it's going to be an unusually short stream. Um, and... So I hope people don't mind. But that's where things are sitting. But yet, a uh, for people who don't know or do know, I, I am a member of the EMS community. Um, I was an EMT so long ago, also during um, the events on this day. Um, and it, it, it affected me on a monumental scale that day. And I know for me, I try not to dwell on it. I try to lift myself up and be strong because that's what everyone on our community like the belief is you know it their watch ended and we pick it up and go from there so um i can only hope that um that we're able to do that for them um but only time will be able to tell but so they are this was definitely a day i i didn't make mention of it yesterday or the other couple days you know about that's why i didn't mention when we were going live today uh because i already knew i was going to be late today and last year when i was streaming i did a whole um a whole moment of silence for them uh, but once again I said there has been a great deal of moments of silence and everything for everyone and so that's why we will pick up lift up and be strong for them 
And so that's that's the only thing we can do is just remember those people, be strong for them, and uh, carry on. It's the only thing we can do. Oh, <sighs> all right. Let's get into this game so I can get my mind off of things. Let's get all these things up and running. That's set. That's set. That's set. And that's set. There we go. Uh, the only thing... Uh, I was also having some internet issues earlier. Or else I would have tried to uh, get on and do like a two-parter kind of thing. But unfortunately, I was unable to. So Optimum did optimum things as they always seem to do. What? What lock do I, Oh, that's scroll lock. I'm like, why is why is that light on? <laughs> who who actually even uses scroll lock? I don't. I don't know anyone that uses scroll lock. It's probably useful for something. If you if you know what scroll lock is useful for, please feel free to inform me. Because I have no clue. That's all set. Uh, Captain guy, we've we bought him out. Hail. I did Hail. right. Yep. Oh, speak to the commander. Let's go speak with the commander. Over here. Oh, it's you. I have some good news. I just received word from the ecological research team that they pinpointed Nergaganti's location. Mm -hmm. We've waited long enough for this day to come. Ergonti is as much of a riddle to us as the Elder Crossing itself. For years upon years, we and Nergaganti have had an eyeing the same prize for our opposite shores. Listen up. I want all hunters to be in field working on Nergaganti. Sign up for quests and head to the Elder Recess. We need to know everything our target and every about how it lives. I know you won't let me down. This is it. Us versus Nergaganti. The Elder Dragon that feeds on Elder Dragons. Mmm. Sounds delicious. Who doesn't love love themselves some Elder Dragon? Um we're gonna keep that. Keeping that. Keeping that. Can't upgrade my armor yet. Wish I could. Let's go eat something. There you go, fam. Nom nom. I'm glad. I'm glad to see I have lost 14 frames already. Thanks, Optimum. This is better than I was doing before. I, I actually before every stream now, literally just run a speed test and bring up my OBS and have it just do a, a, a mock stream just to see hey, what the connection is like hmm. Nothing can stop us. all right and I join I want to join a quest I'm a hero I do my own questing so many optional quests I haven't done yet 1043 right now. Yeah, let's try it. Screw it. YOLO. Yeah, I was looking at the clock going, am I gonna have, if am I gonna have enough time for this? Zora Madros more than we do. Ah, you made it. On time, too. I like that. Would you expect me to not be here? <sighs> Finally, time has come. Ecological research has sent messengers. I've been waiting for you. Now you better be careful. Nergaganti tried to eat Zoro Magdros and failed. It tried to take on other Elder Draggers and failed there, too. 
So now it's hungry. Most likely a little bit irritated too. Anyways, you don't need a warning me. Not after all you've been through. <laughs> so what do you say? Are you ready to do this? Of course you're ready. Time to move. <laughs> oh god. I'm not ready for this. I should have played something simple tonight. <laughs> should have played like... Oh look, nothing's around here. I wonder why. Did you, did you find me something, fam? Before I follow the trial, I want to make sure I get some cold drinks. Just ran right past him. There we go. Let's put something on our slinger. Oh, kitties? Can you kitties? There's kitties. Oh, I'll take kitties. I don't even care what kind of kitties you are. Sam, get down here. Sam, get down here. Talk to them. Cool, it's a bodyguard kitty. He's gonna get blown up so hard. Like, literally, he's just gonna get, like, demolished. Ride the monster over here, we'll try and capture it. Okay. Sure, that'll go over great. Sure, Nergaganti, I'll love that. Here we go. I do love how this vibrates every single time the screen vibrates. He just like run. Run. <laughs> Hi, Nergaganti. Start. Damn. Set the heels up. Come on, Nergaganti. Yeah, stay right there. Good job. Watch your tail. Stabbing him, bro. Come 
Come on. Break through it. Break through. That works too. Sam, get up. Not hurt my cat. All right, we're on twice. Keep going to the back. To the back. Like, that was really, like, bad. <laughs> like, that was twice I almost, like, stabbed him, and twice he was just like, no, bro. Oh, shit. That's the first big hit he got off of me. Oh, my protector's down. <laughs> Sam, keep playing your 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 music for me, please. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Oh, am I stunned? Get up, bro. You're on the double big heal. Man, get up. Put out my my health booster next. Leave my palico alone. He doesn't like you like that. I'm dead.
second I saw I was down on the ground and he started rearing, I'm like, yep, dead. <laughs> To restock my my potions while I'm here. All right, now we're good. Let's go. real quick. Ooh. Fire. Yes. I need a bunch of those. Like a ridiculous amount of those fire cell crystals. I know you're here. Should be at about, according to his life bar, he's at about half health. Give or take. tradition. Oh, shit. Dead. Dead. Oh! I'll oh, we'll take the dragon pods. that hit me. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, he didn't do it. He didn't do it. He did it that time, though. Oh. Oh, shit. I hate when you do that shit. To the tail again. Will he actually be able to discharge his blast? Or will Nergiganti scream and make him fall again? Come on, 
bro. Just hang tight. Be strong. Be strong. Be strong. I get it. I get it. I get it. You did not like that one bit. I wouldn't either if I was you. Me off, bro. Don't shake me off, bro. So fair. <sighs> Hurts my whole soul so much every time that happens. Fire cell? Yes. At least we got a piece of Nergaganti. He's finally in his last room. I just noticed my weapon wasn't fully sharpened. I really need to get the handicraft buff. So I can keep the, these blades uh, sharpened longer. Doubt this will work. Nope. This will not work. All right. I hate when he does this because when he does that he then does his charge back move bro move
dead. Every time. I remember fighting him the last time, and it was that dive in. Because he's such, he has such a large wingspan that it's like... I had a hard time killing him then, too. Like, his hitbox is so big, so if you're already, like, on the ground, and you don't have the chance to run, you're pretty much just boned. You're already bought. Are you guys done? These are the things I need to get on the same timer. Okay, so we can take all this stuff now. Um, God, these teams suck. I guess that one. Because I got the new fertilizer, and with the new fertilizer, it re-ups every five rounds. <laughs> so basically, when you need to do this, is when the other one's ready. So let's see here. Where were we at? Sleep herbs we were doing. We're now at 172 ivy. We are now at... 165. Okay, good. So we're good with that. Um, yeah. All right, let's do chill shrooms, obviously. I don't have to do the same like ones anymore because I now have the other thing. Um,. Hmm. Yeah, let's do smoke. Alright, so that's set now. So now that's on the same timer as the trail riders. What can I do for you guys? I figure I help an old man's trouble. The canteen storehouse is looking mighty bare, and an empty storehouse means empty stomachs. Our good chef is looking for a glimmer of Aparoth in the middle of the ocean and hands me a, a full of the money. That's what I need a fellow to help out with. I'll set up a delivery request for you. Do me the honors. Okay, I could, I could do that. I, I already have that. I still can't believe that. Like his his wingspan attack is so big. Like it's ridiculously big how how big his wingspan is. And the fact that he's able to do like a I hit the ground, so you stumble. And now that you're stumbled, you're kind of boned. It would give him an Elder Seal weapon. You know what? Kill the mitt. Go on, dragon. We're gonna take on a dragon again. Alright, 
right, so let's see here. That's attack, this is defense. That's the best I'm going to be able to get. All right. Usually I'll just take the chef's choice because it's like not that bad of a choice, but I wasn't a fan of it. All right. I join. Oh, also in the uh, weeks to come, we have uh, the the League of Legends um, is having a uh, event coming out. Um, we're gonna, I'm probably gonna go do what I did the last time for the last event, which is just go on, do the event, get all the quests done. What's up, Love Shooter? Love Shooter! Nergigante. Nergigante. The only one who wants to find more than we do. Let's get my chill mushrooms so we can have some chill drinks. Alright. Um, there are no cats up this time, so. Damn. How are you doing this evening, love? nap after work. Hell yeah. All about that nap life. I haven't had a good nap in a long time. Right. Don't notice me, please. Don't notice me, please. Hi, Nerd Gigante. Yeah, I know. I just, I, I just stole a bunch of your things. Yeah, I, I, no, I don't want to bother you. No, not at all. Okay, can we get this to go off at least once? Will it go off today? Or will he scream? And make me fall off like he's done every single time so far. Dun dun dun, just just keep stabbing. Jesus Christ. One of these days. I'll actually... Will this go up? Hey! 
I thought the first one of these ha those was gotten off. Yeah, I haven't gotten a good nap since college. Like, I used to get such great naps at college. Will you stop, bro? I just knocked you down with my blast? See, I never had that. Like, I never had the nap between classes because, like, my schedule was so full that I just ran. My nap was I would finish my class and I'd have, like, an hour before my EMS ship. And I would take a nap right before that. Like, what was, like, I, I would hear all these people, and they would be like, hey, man, you know, I went out last night, we went to the club, we did this, we did that, and, you know, they're all talking about all the fun that they had, and I'm like, and then they're like, Steve, what did you do? And I'm like, me? Oh, I uh, answered the EMS calls. You know, you really should take a day off sometime. Well, I can't. Giant wingspan that you can't ever dodge. It's so like tiring like like people would be like oh man I'm st Steve you know why why aren't you hanging out you know this is your college year you should be doing things I'm like well unfortunately I'm, I'm I gotta work basically what amounts to two full-time jobs while going to school full-time to make this all work you know because FASA decided a long time ago that I make too much money. <laughs> but you know all this stuff. There's just others that might be here and, and don't. Fair. Fair. So fair. Go ahead, do it. Get 
Yeah, same here. Like, I... I, I, I wished I had... Like, I wish I didn't have to work all the hours I did. I also wish... And, and this, you know, hindsight being 2020 now. Um, if I could do it all over again, I would have I would have kept the RA possession position and turned down the EMS position because I would have wound up with more free time and more money. However sad that is. What's up, Daniel? Uh, before I go, let me max my potions back out. But yeah, I, I like hindsight being 2020. If I could do it all over again, easily, easily. When I made the decision, I went, you know, I'm gonna do EMS, you know, resident EMS instead of um, instead of the RA, which I was accepted to. But I was I was so angry. I was so angry with the RA thing, because all right. So for everyone who doesn't know, on on. I, I, I applied when I was at college because I was like, let me go be an RA, you know, because I need I need to pay for housing and I was paying for everything out of pocket. Like everything was coming out of my own pocket. Like there was not a single dime coming from financial aid because they determined I was making too much money. And is also the reason why I'm so in debt. And, um... Because I had to take out a ridiculous amount of loans. And when I sat there and I'm like, alright, I'm gonna I'm gonna, you know, apply for the RA position. I went into it and I went, listen, you know, like when I went when I applied, I was like, listen, this is the only thing. They're like, Do you have any concerns about the position? I said, My only concern is this. You know, like, the, during the whole interview, you know, like, everything was going great. And during... During the one question, they asked me if I had any reservations. And I told them straight out. I was like, my only reservation I have is the fact that I don't want to do freshman. That's it. Just don't... I don't want to do freshman. And the reason why I didn't want to do freshman wasn't because I didn't want to be in freshman housing. It wasn't because I I didn't want to, you know, like live in the shit apartments or anything like that. It quite literally was just I felt that freshmen at college would feel more comfortable with a student their age or near the nearer their age than me. That was my only statement. And I basically told him during the interview, I said, listen, you know, so if, if the only place you can put me is freshman, then no thank you. Um, I, I, won't, I won't accept it. And that's what I told him in the interview. Like, and so when it was time for the you know, like, the go go to the main building and, you know, find out where you placed and if you got accepted. Um, well, 
when I went through the whole thing and I'm sitting there and I'm, I'm waiting in line and I finally get my envelope and I get my envelope and the envelope basically says I'm doing freshman dorms and my friend who also applied um, who specifically asked for freshman dorms like specifically asked for it. They were they they were like I really want to do freshman dorming, you know, because I want to be able to make a difference and I feel I I'll be a good influence on on the new generation coming to the college. He got the senior dorms. And so I'm sitting there going this makes no sense because like here during the interview I was I went do not give me freshman and if you give me freshman, I'm going not going to accept freshman. And here is my friend who said, give me freshman. And they basically gave them the seniors and me the freshman. And long story short is um, I, I met up with the, the lady who was going to be the head of my program. I was like, hey, listen, you know, this is weird, you know. Why, you know, that, oh shit, I gotta win this one now. I have to win. That's his tail on the ground. Run off, run off. You should run off. You should run off. Um, and I basically said, was this a mistake, you know, like, and when I asked them, you know, if, if this was a mistake that they accidentally gave me the wrong one, maybe they gave them the wrong one, maybe there was a, you know, a, a screw up, you know, I was giving them the benefit of the doubt. I was like, maybe there's this chance, there's this, this chance that they just screwed up, you know, because the slip of paper that they handed us didn't have a name on it. it was in your it was in an envelope with your name but inside there was your slip of paper of where you were set and i was like all right maybe there was a you know a, a screw up maybe they put the wrong slip in the wrong thing so let me you know check it and i i walked in and i'm like hey you know so uh what's the deal and her response was well we figured since you're an older student Having such an, a, a mature figure be there would be a, a great boon for the freshman. And so now I'm sitting here and I'm like, hold on. I, I told you specifically, you are the one I told. Because you were the one that I, I, I had my interview with. I told you specifically in the interview... Don't give me freshman, and if you give me freshman, I'm not taking the position. And here you're telling me, well, we felt that this. And so I, I, I looked her in the face, and I said, listen, you know what? Thank you, but no thank you. I'm not going to be able to accept the position. And she's like, and it, she was taken aback by it because I, I, I could see that no one in the history of the RA you know, program has ever been like, thanks, but no thanks. Have a nice day. You know, like there's the door. I'm, I'm, I, I, I humbly do not accept the position in which you have given me. And she was just like, uh, well, 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 why not? And I was like, well, to be quite frank with you, if you're not willing to listen to me during my interview when I wasn't an employee, what makes me think you're going to be willing to listen to me? when I am an employee. Because the whole logic is, you know what? When 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 I am just Steve and I'm just like I'm not an RA, that's like when you're having an interview with someone, that's the that's the one moment for the most part, that's the one time in the the employer is on their best behavior. And let's be honest, and you as an employee during your interview, is the one time you're generally on your best behavior. You know? Where you're trying to make sure, both sides are trying to make sure that you're doing everything perfectly. You know, I get it. I, I get how the game works. So, like, if 
this moment, you're supposed to be at your best, just like I'm supposed to be at mine. I'm dead. How did I live? Baby. And so here it is. We're, we're both on our best behavior. And at this moment, when you're supposedly at your best behavior, you are not going to listen to me. I raised the concern. I think it was a perfectly valid concern. You know, it's not like I was like, you know, hey, you know, if you give me freshman, you know. I like I went, you asked me if I have a concern. I raised my concern. And you didn't listen to it. And on the quite on the contrary, you did the complete opposite of what I said. I was like, so you know what? That being said, I humbly, you know, do not accept the position. And that was that day I went down to um, there's a part around here something like this that day I went down to the EMS department which I was a member of but not a resident of and I I walked up to our director at the time I was like Mike you know how you wanted me to be a resident EMT and I said I was on the ropes well I'm no longer on the ropes take me on board and that's how I want to become a resident EMT but hindsight being 2020 I should have just stuck it up and 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 just dealt with the freshman that first year, um, and then and then called it a day because I would have had so much more free time. Like we were doing EMS on campus, we were doing like 30, 40 hours. And CA does sixteen. Hey. <laughs> well, look who's still with us. Oh. So we have elder dragons eating other elder dragons. Wonderful. That clears some things up. Yeah. We weren't looking at the big picture. Until we came to the new world, how could we know? <laughs> Nergi Gante came here looking for a feast. <laughs> and he made a real mess of the local ecosystem in the process. Here is good. Now that the problem child's been put to bed, the other elder dragons should revert to their usual behavior. <laughs> you did good. So, you ready to go? Like how my weapon's just like blocking the whole scene. Like, oh, we're supposed to be talking here? What's wrong? No, there's a piece of the puzzle missing. How did this area end up becoming such a hotbed of energy in the first place? Enough energy to lure in a menace like that and convince it to switch habitats doesn't just naturally happen. boss I hate what is this high commendation damn I fainted twice oh shit with that achievement Alright, we can upgrade our armor again. 
And so, like, it really was, like, one of those things I sat there. I was just like, if I knew better then. All right, gather around. Let's get council underway. As you all know, when Nergigante descended into the Elder's recess, it's turned up a veritable hornet's nest. Being that Nergigante feeds on Elder Dragons, you can imagine that every monster in the recess got spooked. Initially, I thought we could nip this problem in the bud by eliminating Nergigante, but unfortunately, that's not the case. Despite our best efforts, the situation has escalated. Elder Dragons fleeing Nergigante's wrath have started invading other areas. Now we're coming across Elder Dragon tracks left and right, in the forest, among the wild spire, even in the Rotten Vale. Our team has managed to attribute the tracks to three distinct Elder Dragons so far. Emphasis on so far. Many of you have crossed paths with Elder Dragons in the Old World. You know the consequences of their cataclysmic power. And you know what dangerous adversaries they make. No. But no matter the danger, we have to seize upon this opportunity. We'd be fools not to. Finally! Thought you'd never ask. Yeah, yeah, all right. First things first. I want our field team to start gathering evidence. We need to track down these beasts and pinpoint their exact locations. So I've decided to split you into three groups. Field team leader, you'll be heading up the ancient forest investigation. And the Wildspire Waste, that one's yours. As for the Rotten Vale, we'll be needing the Third Fleet's help with that one. I'll leave it up to these delegates to decide how to use the field team. Lastly, don't forget to relay your findings to the ecological research team once you've gathered enough evidence. I hate that first Elder Dragon. Everyone clear? All right. Dismissed. Did you? Now you're talking. Doing what? I'm assuming art. Well, just keep getting more interesting. I'd like nothing more than to help you out, but I've got somewhere I need to be. An old friend told me he's trying to track down a place brimming with energy. There's been a surge in the veins of the earth. He's planning to go to investigate it alone. Can't well, have that. Now don't be blabbing about this to anyone. My old friend would never forgive me if he let Feline out of the bag. Hmm. The veins of the earth are like blood vessels that pump energy underground. They reach all the way across the New World. The Everstream too. it's part of the system. I suspect the reason the Elder Dragons are still stirring despite Nergigante's disappearance is somehow related to this. Of course, I cannot be sure, but I have a gut feeling. Call it the Admiral's Instinct. Anyway, good luck with things out on your end. I'll, lend, I'll let you know when we find out. Mm. Oh, shoot, almost forgot. My old friend also had a message for you too. I'll be waiting, I'll be waiting in the place beyond where all things converge. Well, his words, not mine. If the Elder Dragons aren't showing any signs of settling down, then we'll have to look They didn't have a link to it. We're I just had hunt. to email them and send them a resume. Awesome, though. I hope that works out. That'll be badass. That's really badass. Really happy for you on that. If anyone deserves it, it's you. I know the company and have followed the CEO on LinkedIn for some time now. <laughs> oh my god. That sounds that sounds a little uh interesting. But you know what? At least that means you know the company well. 
and that's a that's a huge plus you don't know how many people walk into like a new company and then like they'll get like asked that question of well what do you what do you know of this product or what do you know about this and they're like ah Oh, all these people want to talk. It's time. Right. Time you head to the wilds of our ways. We've got an elder dragon on the track. From what I can gather, the trail is more prominent on rocks and sand. The proper course would be to conduct the uh, expedition or quest into the primary dry areas. Once we have gathered the data we need, we shall report to the scholars all of the right. ecological research. Until next time, Hunter. Okay. Yo. Hello, friend. There you are. We split the hunters into fourth and fifth to make the search for the Elder Dragon's trail go faster. I'd like you to join us in the ancient forest to look there. Gather any evidence you can find. You could do it while you're out on an expedition or during a quest. It doesn't matter either way. Based on what info we were able to sort through, it sounds as though the evidence will be spread throughout the wide area. When you've collected enough data, report to the Keep Ecological together, Research okay. Station. Good luck there. I want to talk to Pookie. I want to talk to you. I want to talk to Pookie. I want to... Pookie, come over here. Pookie. Come... Yeah, 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 yeah. Good job, Pookie. Hey! Ugh, oh, what a pain in the astolus. <laughs> the chief asked me to make this delivery, but... What? You'd really... Wow! You're totally rad, uh, loss of... Er... I mean... That's kind... Of, very kind of you. It's a request to get some fatty tomatoes. Get some and the chef will add them to the ingredients list. I have to give up one of my lava nuggets. Well, without giving away the company's name or anything like that, what 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 kind of art do they do? Or like what what would they have you do? Well, I'll be going because it's 4.42, and I promised I would go to sleep earlier than normal. All right, no problem, Daniel. Sleep well, sweet dreams. Most likely kill you in the morning. Shouty, you the best. You the, you the best. Get your sleep. It is most important, eh? I have magical powers. Sleep. There you are, Fiber. All right, so let's see here. Elder Dragon Blood. We now have Bukium Ore 13. Holy shit. All right, so you need Nergaganti parts. Okay. Still don't know what you need to upgrade that. Um, don't know what we need to upgrade that. Uh, Elder Dragon Bone, Wyvern Gem. <sighs> don't know what this is. And I, I have a feeling I know what this is. The, all of this is getting me eight points. Why couldn't I have this before? The 
cipher kid. They're a site for kids, so they post cartoons for kids, show videos and art by kids. That's cool. That's actually really cool. Hey, that's really cool. God, what do you want? Working hard? Good luck. What do you need me to get you? Alright, let me go down here real quick and turn it in. Whee! So I'm not sure what I'd be doing. It might be one of those things that, like... I wonder if it'll be something like, um, like taking uh, the art for the kids or stuff like that and, uh, like making it more viable for, because you know how like certain art, if you scan it in, it just won't scan in properly. It might be one of those things that like, they want you to possibly do that. Who knows, maybe they want you to do freaking um, uh, art for their videos. Oh, it's a, there's all kinds of things. It, you know, dealing with a site for kids that deals with cartoons and videos and stuff like that. As long, as long as they don't, you don't walk in and they start the Art Institute of America's uh, thing and they, they hand you a pamphlet and ask you to draw a turtle, then you'll know you're on the up and up. Nothing can stop us. Like, can you draw this turtle? <laughs> what about this dog? Can you draw this dog? <laughs> I, need, I need you to draw this dog, please. How about this pirate? Can you draw this pirate? <laughs> Alright, we're gonna do this. I'll never forget the freaking Art Institute of America's freaking stuff. It was so silly. All right, beat up 10 of these guys. And they're a pain in the ass, got it. I know where a chunk of them are. I do it just about anything for experience. Anything you say. <laughs> Wrong button, ruined my own joke. I'm not even gonna bother to press the other button. I'll let you just dream what I was about to push. <laughs> There's one. And this is where, this is where Siegfried gets smacked and deserves it. I, well, you did say just about anything, so I'm assuming that's not on the table. I mean, unless I'm wrong. Jesus Christ, bro. 
and blowing these guys up. Really, bro? I think you're dead now, bro. Is when you go with the shocking statement of, well, actually, sick, like, I'd be more than willing to do that. I just wouldn't be willing to, you know, cook dinner. I hate cooking dinner. Sex, sex for a job, sure. But cooking dinner? Nah. <laughs> So gonna get smacked. I am so going to deserve it. Like so deserved. more of those red guys not those red guys but other red guys but you'll have to let me know how it goes because that's badass hey buddies God. Jesus Christ. That much I hate these guys. Sleep knife, huh? All right, bro. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Sam, I need you to punch me. Sam, punch me. Sam, punch me. Good job, Sam. How do you like it? How do you like it? How do you like it? hate those little bastards. Fukium or...
That also reminds me that the school year has now started, so I need to get my stuff out so I can uh, try and get my um, my substitute license. I mean, I have all the paperwork and all that. I just have to, like, finish filling it out. Down to 59,000 gold. This is why I had I, I was being smart and sending the guy out early. I wanted this guy to go out early because Yeah, I know you got more stuff now. Still haven't bought your shit. I don't need it. Um, long story short is... It's so I can start stockpiling this shit. Is it this one or... So like starting here, this is all shit you can sell. For money so like right here this alone is a hundred thousand gold you know so this is our three thousand all this adds up um, into a decent amount of money and the captain I have the captain doing the collection for it because I I get so many research points I get so few freaking, um, like, the, the money in is so little. And so I learned once you get to the later levels, you're just, like, starving for money, but not for research. So I'd rather have the guy, like... Eleven fifty-eight. We'll do one more short mission. Let's see what else we got. Thirteen gas. And kill the barrels. Okay, got it. Um. The logic being like, I forget what I was saying. Ugh. Oh. I hate when when I start getting really tired. Because then my brain just goes to mush. Mush. What I do need to do though in this game is I need to get that last cat. Hi Barrowses. That was that was quick three. <laughs> Damn. Unsharpened the hell out of my weapon though. Let's resharpen my weapon. And this is why I love the blast attack, because the blast attack does an area of effect 120 when it goes off. And counts as an explosion, which that in and of itself could blow off apart. But yeah, I've been, I've been, I, I've, I finally made the decision that. Going, 
me going to medical school, which I plan to want to do, is just, it. unfortunately, as much as I want it to happen, isn't going to happen. Um, getting my first initial degree, the fact that I got no financial assistance, and the fact that I went in as, as deep of debt as I did, um, doing the next phase is not possible. I want it to be possible, but unfortunately it's not. Financially, I cannot. Um, so I had I, I, I have to start activating plan B. And so plan B is either one of two things. Either A, I go back for my master's, which I can do. I'm not that much in debt yet. Like going back to school, you know, like going for the MD, I, I would need to be a lot less in debt. But going for the masters, I can do. The other choice I have is to go for my um, I think we could build the camp here. We should build Let's a camp the here. Honchos. Yeah. Look at all those fishies. All those fishies just want to be loved. Right, guys? Look at that big fat one in the back. What the big fat one? Big fat guy. A big fat guy. Uh, let's get rid of this. He's all the way back there, so let's... All right, here we go. Left stick. B. Left stick. B. Right stick. More bees. Mmm, big old fishy. A bait bug. Sure. You know what? Um, we'll use this one bait bug so I can clear up my inventory. And so the other the other choice that I have is is I need to uh, go for alternate route. Alternate route is viable one of three ways. Number one, I can enroll myself in a school that no one wants to teach in because it's a a bad school, and thus they're always willing to take people that are alternate route. That is the least desirable of the options. Uh, option number two is to become a sub for a school district, get known in the school district, and then have them sponsor you for alternate route. And the third one is just straight up going to a school district and going, Please, sir, I wish to go alternate route. You should help me. And then them go, okay. That is the least likely of them. Because there are so many people trying to alternate route. Which is basically what the first one is. The first one is a play on the third choice. But you're choosing a school district that will accept it because they have no choice. Because no no teacher in their right mind are gonna be like, yeah, I wanna I wanna teach there. All right, birds. Let's do this. Any rocks or something? I need something to piss these damn birds off. Oh, there we go. Rocks.
And so that's why, like, I, I figure I'll start with my sub. Because then that will at least, like, get me to see if, you know, if it's the right avenue for me. Before I, I fully invest. Because the alternate route takes about two years once you start to pass. One year one year of basically mentoring, I guess you'll call it, where basically you're sitting in the class and watching. And then So it's one year of that and then it's a year of your actual student teachership. And when you complete your two years, and that allows you to take the the exam at that point, you know, take the big test to see if you can become a teacher. Or not. Which, in and of itself, is its own ordeal. So, it's something I'm contemplating. If nothing else, getting the substitute license is. A nice backup to have. For if, like, all of a sudden, like, I, I come to the fruition that me being an EMT just can't happen anymore because of physical constraints or some kind of medical issue or something. Right, Pooks? All right. Uh, sure, sure, sure. time still have time go carefully I forgot to collect my Nergiganti research because I'm a bad person captain's not back yet Nothing to do there. We already know about the board. Alright, that's everything. We have done everything today. Got some minor missions out of the way. Uh, we'll do bed sitting today. So we can play with Pink Bunny. Pink Bunny. That's how you know it's real. But guys, uh, I'm gonna have to bring the stream to a close. I know it was a short stream. I know we only got like one hour and 46 minutes in, but it's, today was a long day. Um, uh, so tomorrow, tomorrow we're gonna be streaming normal time. I don't know when Odyssey is being released. When Odyssey for a league is officially released, we're probably gonna go there do the quest get them done um so we might take a small sidestep from monster hunter while also in the background i'm still trying to get the mythic dungeon done for world of warcraft so we can finish the storyline aspect of that um is there any i was about to say who are you petting i don't see anyone on the screen you're not petting anyone um so we have a bunch of things going on i know at the end of the month we have so basically in about 18 days we have the new assassin's creed is coming out and i think that's about it 
I'm going to take one last second um, just to mention this, that if anyone that's out there, you know anyone who was affected by the events that happened today 17 years ago, or, well, now it's yesterday for me, but send them my heartfelt, con you know, condolences. Just know that, let them know that people like me, there are many of us that are out there support them give them strength be their shoulder if they need um i think that's that's that should yeah i don't want to dwell on it too much as i said it's it's still a open wound for a great many people including myself and so i will leave it at that so just send my condolences my love to anyone who needs it on this uh day other than that i'm going to bring the stream to a close i hope you guys will help me say thank you to some pretty amazing people as always first and foremost a big shout out for all you guys thank you so much everyone who tuned into this super short kind of stream i know it was really short but this is what happens when you have a full-time job that you have to do to make the bills pay so you can actually stream um, but a big shout out for you guys. Thank you so much. It really does mean the world to me to have you guys here, whether it's been for five minutes or five hours, or this is your first stream or your 300 stream. A big shout out to you guys. Thank you so much. All my love. I love you guys so much. Keep being you and I will keep being me. And if you are new, make sure you smash your forehead into that follow button. You just take your head and go, ah, and smash it into the follow button. So that way I can get to know you. And you get to know me, and we'll be able to hang out and have a good time. And with that, here we go. Let's do the ending credits. And go. Nope, wrong, wrong. All right. Down below is a thank you from me to all of you guys. As a final thank you. Uh, the ending music is brought to you by Electromina. The name of the song is Summer Vibes. If you enjoy it, please make sure you look them up on Spotify or YouTube. Free to listen to, free to download. And if you enjoy their music, make sure you support the artists. Buy some of their music. They're really badass. And also, make sure you support your local artists. They they need love and everything also. Don't just go to Walmart or KFC or some other place and buy some copy pasta and hang it up on your wall. Ask a local artist. They'll create something amazing for you and you'll have something original on your wall and they'll be very appreciative. Also, a shout out to... Floxes, X Cremble, Fallen Snow, It's Too Late Now. Thank you guys so much for the host throughout the stream. I would say thank you for people following the Twitter, but I did not send a tweet out today because I felt weird sending out being that this is a short stream. So a big shout out to anyone who would have retweeted the tweet had it been out there. And finally, a big shout out to the Bully Free Twitch Network. The Bully Free Twitch Network is channels much like my own where you can go and enjoy yourself not have to worry about ass goblins running your fun because that's how they have fun if there's a channels that you enjoy make sure you look for the hashtag bullet free twitch on twitter give them some love tell them i sent you also the gleam giveaway if you didn't know this is still going on it just put got put up in chat make sure you click on it just being a follower of the channel gets you one entry and if you do all the things you can get a whole bunch of other entries as a thank you from me to you guys but guys if you're gonna be going to bed much like me sleep well and sweet dreams but if you're going to be staying up and playing some more games, whether it's Monster Hunter, League of Legends, Kingdom Come Deliverance, No Man's Sky, Star Citizen, why would you ever play that? Realm Royale, Rust, Wildstar, World of Warcraft, Amnesia, Galaga, Pac-Man, Darkest Dungeon, DC Universe Online, or any other games that are out there. Have fun. Because at the end of the day, it's a game. And that's what it's all about, is having fun. And with that, I'm going to bring episode 376, The Adventures of Switch Axe, part 14, to a close. We're getting close. We're getting close to any. I know we have the three elders and then the last boss. We're getting there. Hope to see you guys tomorrow when we go live at, live at 9, 10 o'clock EST. Have a great rest of your evening, guys. Button. Yes. Yes, I'm back. Oh, God. Why, why couldn't it be the other one? Because I killed her. No, no, you didn't. She's over there, sleeping. No, she's dead. 
No, I, I can see she's breathing. She's right there. There's your respiration. There's. Damn it. <sighs> Sorry, friend. Fine, I'll just say button. <laughs> what? That's weird. Like, why would you do it that way? Because I'm ashamed. Ashamed of what? Just leave me alone. <laughs> 